Arizona schools are returning to in-person teaching this week, and if students and parents feel like it's been forever since schools closed, well, they'd be close. Molly Hudson in our Washington Bureau tells us just how long it's been and how schools are working to shake off the rest. It was one year ago today that Arizona teachers, students, and families started what was supposed to be a two-week school closure because of COVID-19. Two weeks that turned into a year of virtual learning for many. Looking back at the time, we didn't know that it wasn't as bad. I think that first day that, that uh, Governor Ducey met with superintendents, there were about 12 cases in the state, uh, we would have never imagined that the situation would evolve as it did. Fast forward to today, schools have been given a deadline by Governor Ducey to return to in-person teaching, and districts have an extensive list of to-dos to ensure it's safe. You're doing the plexiglass dividers, so each, each desk is separated. You're determining the spacing. You're hoping that you don't have 30 kids in the room because you can't appropriately social distance for that. And the list goes on to include materials, transportation, lunch, recess, and much more. All of this happening over what should have been spring break for many. Spring break isn't, it's not really spring break for a lot of them. It's, <laughs> it's spring make or break. But it looks like most schools will make the deadline to reopen. Districts have been planning for reopening since probably the beginning of the year because they didn't know what the virus spread was going to look like. The Tolleson Elementary School District opened for a month last fall, but has been completely virtual otherwise. Superintendent Lupita Hightower says the district wanted to return to school before spring break, but there were two main pieces, including a parent survey. It took us about a week to get 99% of our families to return the survey. And it is an incredible response rate, incredible. Um, and about 65% of our families said we feel safe sending our kids back to, to school for in-person. Tolleson staff went door to door last week to get the final 1%. Hightower added they have informed families of new school procedures through videos. And as the return to in-person learning continues, school officials say they will make changes as needed. We use a phrase in education a lot. It's called monitor and adjust. Because as, as you start living these things, you, you monitor what's going on and you realize, oh, we hadn't thought of this. Now we have to adjust. Many schools opened on Monday and many others, including Tolleson schools, will reopen next week after their spring break or soon after. In Washington, Molly Hudson, Cronkite News.